boys and girls. My name is Miss Paula and I'm coming to you from the Royalton Library today with a story time book. I think you're going to like this book. The name of it is Grumpy Monkey. Do you ever get grumpy? What does grumpy mean? Oh, it means you're not in a good mood. You don't want to do anything. You don't want to cooperate with anybody. A grumpy monkey. Well, let's see, by Suzanne Lang and illustrated by Max Lang. One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke to discover that nothing was right. Hmm, did you ever get up and you thought, well, this, this isn't right today. I think that's a grumpy day. The sun was too bright. The sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Look at that. He's not happy. Look, there's his banana peels. He's not in a good mood. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. Does he look grumpy to you? He is grumpy. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's a wonderful day. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You are grumpy. I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But he tried to loosen up. Okay, he's trying to make himself not grumpy now. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim, asked Lemur. It's a wonderful day. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. When you get mad, do your eyebrows go down? Sometimes they do, and that's how you can tell someone's mad. It's true, said Norman. Your, your eyebrows are all bunched up. So Jim raised his eyebrows. That means he stopped frowning. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh, no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Look at that face. They're, they're trying to make him feel better, but I don't think it's working. Finally, Jim looked happy. He's smiling, but I think he's just pretending to smile. He didn't really feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy the wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim did not feel like singing. Look at that face. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim did not feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Look, they're, they're rolling in the, in the dust. Jim did not feel like rolling. Okay, stroll with us, said the peacocks. Strolling means you go slowly. Jim didn't feel like strolling. Uh, yeah. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet, said the elephants. See, the lion one would lie in the grass. The elephant wants him to stomp his feet because that's what makes them happy. But look at him, he still isn't happy. No, you should take a bath, said Hippo, and make a splash, said, what's that, Otter? You should hug someone, <laughs> said the snake. You should laugh. You should take a nap. That from the crocodile. You should eat some old meat. That's what he would like. 
or some honey. That's what he would like. You should jump up and down, said the frog. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. Would you like to dance with a porcupine? Well, he would like to, he danced. Why are you so grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim, as he beat on his chest with his arm. He's really getting mad now. And he stormed off. When you storm off, it means you go off in a bad mood. He's not even looking back. Well, there they all are. They tried to help him, but it, it, it didn't seem right. Jim felt a little sorry, a little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly he felt sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. That means he's all bent over. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What, what's the matter? Are you grumpy? Asked Jim. No, I danced with porcupine said Norman. <laughs> Remember how Porcupine said, you should dance? Well, he tried it, but it didn't work for him, did it? Because Porcupine was full of uh, quip, quills. No, what's the word? Quills. Yeah, that, that. Yeah. I dance with Porcupine, said Norman. Uh, are you okay? asked Jim, and if you look carefully, you will see he's got little band-aids all over where he got the quills, little band-aids. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Uh, are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. Can you tell that? Look at the face. Well, everyone gets grumpy sometimes. Have you ever been grumpy? And you get grumpy and your mother asks you to do something and you're, you're mad and you don't know why, but you feel grumpy. Well, grumpy monkey. Everyone tried to make him feel better, but did they? No, he had to make himself feel better. And you can tell if you look at this picture at the back of the book. I don't know what he did, but look in his face, he feels better. So if you're having a very bad day, just think about it won't always be that way. And if you can find something to make you feel a little happier, a fun book, something like that, talking to somebody, do that. And you won't be a grumpy monkey. Well, it's time to say goodbye, but we'll be back next week. It's time, it's time, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, boys and girls.